Hello everybody, I'm Doug Limerick, and this is Limerick on Life. 40 years ago, February 6th, 1978, I had finished my morning anchor shift at WHDH Radio in Boston. With up to 10 inches of snow in the forecast, I was told to, to stay the night in town at the Park Plaza Hotel, but before checking in, I decided to see the new movie Superman. As I walked from the station in front of the 66-story tall John Hancock Tower, the wind was so strong, people were actually being blown off their feet. I remember holding onto a light pole like in a cartoon. It had just started to snow. When I came out of the theater in mid-afternoon, it was snowing hard, incredible wind gust, and thus began the great blizzard of 78. New England tonight is struggling with the worst snowfall in its history. A raging blizzard that came in on winds of up to 100 miles an hour, bringing death and destruction to the whole region. Woke up in the middle of the night, had to, had to get to the radio station, set out on foot. It was a whiteout outside. Scary. Snow already up to my knees. Downtown Boston, powerless. Finally managed to make it to the station. Boston was being buried under 27 inches of snow, but it, it was more than a snowstorm. It was a winter hurricane. Winds over 100 miles an hour. Scores of houses on the coast ripped apart. Thousands of vehicles were stuck on Route 128 just outside the city. Snow covering many tailpipes. 15 people asphyxiated. Boats sunk in Boston Harbor, including a popular floating restaurant bar. Nothing moved. The National Guard was called out. I remember Governor Michael Dukakis sitting with me at a table talking about rescue efforts and the state of emergency. It was obvious that we were into something that was pretty big. I remember the wind whipping down the side streets. I don't think anybody expected the intensity. Hundreds stuck inside Boston Garden, the Bean Pot Hockey Tournament. Hundreds of thousands trapped in their homes by 15 foot deep drifts. We looked out the window and I said to my wife, I said, look at the snow, it's halfway up the cars. Okay, then I looked out again as the snow kept coming down and coming down. And by the time the snow was done, we couldn't see our cars. It snowed and snowed and snowed. It was a lot of snow. Didn't get a home for seven days. In the end, nearly 100 people died across New England, 4,500 others injured, $500 million damaged, $2 billion today's dollars. February 6th, 1978, a storm that will live in infamy. That's a slice of life. I'm Doug Limerick.